Okay, this is a quick video showing how to make a custom weightlifting or fitness tracking application. It doesn't require any code. You build it basically off of Google Spreadsheets, Google Forms, use a couple of formulas that you can copy and paste. This isn't in complete detail, just the overview. And then if you had questions about specific parts or you needed a more complete video about them, you could ask me or you could quickly Google some of the things that I'm doing. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do, and you probably already have a spreadsheet like this if you've been coaching strength and conditioning. Um, there's lots that use Excel formulas and whatnot, but you basically need two things in there. Let me show you here. You need a list of exercises in a column, and this can be updated as you go. For example, I just added Bulgarian split squats today to my list of exercises for a particular workout we were doing, and then you need a list of all the names of the folks that you're going to be in there, and these are happen to be copy and pasted from my grade book roster, but you could enter them by hand or whatnot. And if I had a student add, I could add to the bottom there. All right, once you have that, you will need to create a form. Again, if you wanna see how this works, check out my other video that kind of shows the front end, what the user sees and what your using experience is. This is if you're creating it. So if you don't know how to create a Google form, you can Google it or ask me questions in the comments and I will respond to them. Um, anyways, the once you have created a Google form, you're actually going to, um, you can put the fields custom, whatever you want. So for mine, as you saw the app, they select their name, then they select an exercise, and then they have input boxes for sets, reps, and weight. You can have any number of input boxes. The two, um, that are, the feature that's important for what I, all everything else to work is that you need to have uh, some of them be dropped down. The name needs to be dropped down if the student's selecting it, otherwise you'll have a lot of mix-ups and the exercise or the activity or whatever you're using it for needs to be dropped down. And you're actually gonna use an add-on called Form Ranger. And I won't show you how to add it on except for you go to the add-ons and you look up Form Ranger and you add it on. What Form Ranger basically allows you to do, and I'll just show you real quick the functionality, although you can again, Google Form Ranger and it will show you how to um, use its magic. Oh, my picture is right in the way. Let's move my picture, can we move it? Yeah. Uh, you can see like under select your name, I can populate it from a range and I can add a new range um, from any spreadsheet. And so you're gonna basically add the range from the sheet that you created that had the student names and you'll do the same under the question for exercises or any other drop down questions that you want people to be able to select from. The reason for drop downs is what that uh, creates is neat values in cells that you can then use for sorting and searching. If people type them in, they tend to make errors here and there and you lose the data. Plus it takes more time. Nobody wants to type band or cable hip abduction target glute medius when they can just click it on a, on a drop down. Then obviously it will create a spreadsheet for you and because that's how forms works automatically and uh, students can go uh, to the form itself. And by the way, if you want it to look like a mobile app icon on their cell phone, like uh, mine did, you can again ask in the comments if you don't know how, or you can Google how to turn a URL into a home screen button. It's a couple clicks of the button and it'll show up on their home screen just as if it was an app and it'll launch immediately to it. Just in fact, it'll launch faster than an app and they don't have to download anything. So it's very convenient. Again, you can see how that looks and works in my other video. But anyways, that will then create, or you can manually create somewhere else, a spreadsheet. The spreadsheet will have all the columns based on what you put as the input. For me, this is the key column. So this is my master lift sheet, and this is what I can use to take the data from students and create all kinds of custom things that I haven't finished doing yet, um, but I will once they get advanced enough that I need to start doing, you know, 75 or 80% of one rep max, that kind of stuff. Also, um, Beyond that, so this is mine, where I have a master of all the lifts that have happened by the people that are logging them electronically. And I still do use paper workout logs as well. A lot of students like this, but um, this is just sort of a test project to move some of them to electronics and also to use this to keep at least my max lifts for students so that I'm not flipping through paper trying to find the max lifts and so I don't have to hand enter them into my Excel sheets. So, um, because with this app, I can enter on my phone for any student, it doesn't have to be the student on their phone. I should know that with this app, each student does not actually have to download it onto their phone. They can have their friends enter it for them as long as their friend has the page on theirs. Okay, so 
Then once you've built, once you have that master sheet, you can use that master sheet using this magic right here, where uh, just to go over it, you can copy and paste it in there um, in your cell in the top left of a form and you can share it with the student. And um, if you have this title, you share this sheet with the student and you put this into the top left, left um, cell and uh, where this, the, this is the formula that it gives and this is the actual sheet ID number. And you can look up how to find a Google sheet ID number, but it's basically everything after the D and before the thing that says edit. And then you use this where column two contains, or you can do equals, but contains is easier. Uh, and then you close the parentheses like that. And I, I think I'll put this in the description or something so you can copy and paste it. And uh, anyways, if you do that, it will automatically populate all of that student's lifts just onto their sheet so that you can have each student seeing just their lifts that they recorded while you see all of the master lists. And that pretty much do, um, does it for now. Eventually I'll show you how to like uh, export out and extrapolate estimated one rep maxes that update for the students and how to use it to do other workouts as I um, develop the formulas and maybe even some scripts if I have to, to make it happen. But anyways, there you go. You can use that process to create uh, something that works just like an app. Again, see my video to see what it looks like for students. It looks just like a simple app. And yet you update it using just Google Sheets. No need to muck with a database. And uh, students um, can easily do it without downloading something or worrying about if they have an Android or an iOS or anything like that. It's all simple, all right there. And um, you can easily update the application without having to go in and change some code or something. You just add things to columns or even add columns entirely or add a question to a form. So really easy to use for a variety of situations. Again, if you want more details, hit me a comment or send me a message or something like that. And uh, I will um, go ahead and respond to that.